<laughs> okay, okay. Let's let's get ready to do this, okay? <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Let's do this. Okay. <clears throat> Clearing the throat. <clears> throat> I got to talk about the trash. I got to talk about parasites. I got to talk about those who have no character, those who have no integrity, because they are parasites. Nasty. I don't, this fella here, Frank and Negro, saw nigger. Ah, uh, it's. As you can see, I'm having a very difficult time because I mean, I'm not, I'm not used to digging in the garbage. I'm not used to cleaning toilets, and this is where you will find his kind in the toilet, in the garbage bin, sewer rat, filthy piece of trash so some of you probably have I posted it on this channel you heard this guy this fella who uses our sincere wanting to know about ourselves he uses that as a way to make money, a, a hustle. He's a criminal, a hustler. Instead of slinging cocaine, instead of slinging heroin or prostitution, well, <laughs> it seems as though he is in the prostitution type business, that polygamy garbage. But anyway, it's, it's, it's legal. It's legal. I would hope that the Internal Revenue Service would investigate this man's finances because I'm very sure he has not been paying his fair share of taxes. We I, I, we already know that. The only thing these guys do is know how to know how to spend their money that they got from the naive people. And you get what for your money? Okay, you've been listening to this guy and you've been giving this fella all your money all these years. And what does he give back? To my knowledge, he doesn't even give a turkey away once a year for Christmas. Gives you nothing. And that's why Elijah Muhammad said, or he taught, why do we love the white man? We love the white man because he gives us nothing. Most of us, we love people who treat us wrong and give us nothing and abusive and verbally abusive, physically abusive. We love those types. Now, again, going back to the video where this man, this, this thing made a comment trying to degrade, trying to make mockery of myself and our brother Tahaka Bay. Shout out to Moorish World TV citizens, Tahaka Bay and his family, and, and to that chat room. Shout out to that platform. So he's going to basically say that Tahaka Bay, Moorish World TV, has fallen so low he has no friends. He has no, no scholarly support. He's so desperate that he brings Angel Snub Nub 7 onto his platform because nobody else, none of his fellow Moorish uh, community doesn't want anything to do with him. So he's so desperate 
the best scholar that he can get is Angel Snub Nub 7. Trying to degrade and make mockery. Which I challenge. And I'm pretty sure he know he's heard the video. I would take I would take on all of your people at one time, including yourself. Your so-called scholarship against my no scholarship, because you never heard, nor Angel Snub Number Seven, I never claim to be a scholar. I will use my common sense, my ability to reason, my logic, and being analytical versus your so-called scholarship. Let's find out. Let's let me see. Okay, let's look this up real quick. What is a scholar? A scholar is a person who pursues academic and intellectual activities, particularly ac academics who apply their intellectualism into expertise. Expertise. Remember that word. In an area of study, a scholar can also be an ac academic who works as a professor, teacher, or researcher at a university. Okay, so he has scholarship. He has scholars. Do any of them have a credential being an actual professor? Or a teacher? Or a researcher at any university? If you don't have if you haven't taught at a school, college, university, you're not a scholar. Also, you are an expert in a specific category of study. You have all these so-called scholars, the house of consciousness, all these people calling themselves, I'm a scholar, I'm a scholar. None of them, very few actually have credentials. I'm a self-made. And if you notice, they only debate themselves. They don't debate people who are professors, teachers, researchers who actually have credentials from a university. Not a university from a jail cell, prison cell, or your mama backyard. Scholar. So I don't know what these people calling themselves scholars are, but they're not. And you giving these people hundreds and hundreds of dollars for something you could do, the same easy stuff they did. They just read some books and come up with some crap. And they put their little touch of that church swag on it. And the naive Eat it up. What else does it say? What does it mean to be called a scholar? A person who attends a school or studies under a teacher. Who are the teachers of these people? Who are they studying under? A person who has done advanced study in a special field. A learned person. You can you can be self-taught, but when it comes to scholarship, you have to have credentials of being associated with a university, a school, a college. None of these people have that. They're, they're self-made. Malcolm X, to my knowledge, never called himself a scholar. He was just a person that was self-taught and read some books. I never heard him brag to about I'm some kind of scholar. And there are many who are self-taught, but they don't call themselves my scholarship. You're not a scholar unless you can show credentials that you have some type of degree. You've been to a college, school, or university. You're not a scholar. I don't know what you are, but you're not a scholar. A holder of a scholarship. Angel Snub Nub 7 has never claimed to be a scholar. 
what has happened? These people just read some books. They done their research. Again, do you ever see them debate, argue with actual persons who can be considered a scholar? Go get somebody like Cornell West. I think Derek, uh, what's his name? Derek Michelson, what's his name? I can't keep it with these people. But there are those who, I'm going to tell you, see, it seems as though people who really have those type of credentials, they're not out here making YouTube videos and they're not involved in all this foolishness. See, this is nothing but church. It's nothing but church. You have a bunch of people, a group of people, and this frog, this face, frog face, gremlin, ghoul, he calls himself the Don King of Consciousness. And we know what Don King done. Don King used other people, talent, to get rich. And he ripped them and stole from them. We know this. I heard he did it. He robbed Muhammad Ali. Uh, he, he robbed uh, Mike Tyson. Whoever Don King worked with, he found some kind of way to rip them off. His talent is using or exploiting other people's talents. And that's what this guy does. He sets up these debates. He sets up these fights. And you're entertained by these fights. You might learn a little bit of something, but when it's all said and done, this does what? How do you benefit? I heard this man made probably over a million dollars. And what and how much did he contribute to your black conscious community over the years? He just keeps begging and begging and begging. Why do you love the white man? You love the white man. Why do you love Sa nigga? You love him because why do you love Brother Polite and Pharaoh and all these Leeches on YouTube. They never give you nothing back. Since Sad Nigga is running his mouth. A few years ago, Angel Snub Nub 7 gave away six grand to the community. Why don't you talk about that? And Angel Snub Nub 7 is not begging for cash apps and GoFundMe out of my own pocket I give to, to my audience I give to the people these folks but I don't get that kind of support because I'm too real the reality stuff on earth is too real you want somebody to entertain you but then at the same time you make mockery of, of, of our Christian brothers and sisters. And that's all you do. You go to black church. He's nothing but a preacher, polite preacher, Pharaoh, Tariq Nasheed, Cynthia J. Nothing but preachers. The sad thing about it is you can get a piece of bread from the black church. You're not going to get nothing from these people. They are pure Leeches. So you keep trying to make mockery of Tahaka Bay. You keep trying to make mockery. We'll take you on anytime, your scholars. House of Negro fake ass scholars. <laughs>